Alrighty, here we go for the first map. We've got Noodle coming back for the videos. I know you guys love when Noodle are in the videos. Hopefully, going to be making a lot more videos with him soon. I got a lot of things planned, so stay tuned for that. And remember to follow him. The links to his uh, socials are going to be in the description. Very cool guy. Uh, he's been making a montage uh, in between the games here, so stay tuned on his channel for that. But uh, with that being said, we've got Genna and Fool for our two copper players, and we're going to be starting on Oregon. And Noodle requested that he started on defense, so he will be there. And the two copper players shall be on attack to start off. All right, so the coppers are bringing their drones straight into the bomb site. That's going to get shot out really quickly by Noodle, so that's half of their drone potential gone. Good operator pick by Noodle as well. You guys know I always talk about how good Malusi is for these type of videos. Going to be able to slow down those attackers and he's gonna be able to hear where they're coming from fairly easily interesting lineup from the yeah, yeah, yeah. copper players um noodle trying to go for a spawn peek on that master door but unfortunately for him they're going to be spawning by junkyard so he's not going to be able to get anything with that most likely Defender. or maybe not as he jumps out could have gotten full but not quite going to get him noodle actually taking a fair bit of damage here looks like he got like one shot onto iana but that's going to be habana getting taken out that's full on and that's also the diffuser on the white stairs and i believe he did shoot that uh malusi trap so noodle's gonna have to watch the those stairs just a little bit more looks like Gena's hard stuck on pushing this window though so you might not even have to worry about it all noodle really has to do right now is just wait for the clock to go down as Gena doesn't have bomb so we'll see what ends up happening 50 seconds left. He's actually going to hop just right in and actually get the kill onto Noodle. That's the first round of the video going to the two copper players. Noodle going to fall in this 1v2, at least in the first round. All right, so this round we see Noodle going Thunderbird. That's actually a really good thing for him here because we saw last rounds when he went to take a gunfight with Fool, or actually I believe it was Genna. He went to take a, a gunfight with Genna, who was the Iana, and he actually got hit like once or twice, and that brought him down to like 40 or 50 HP. Now, because of that, Noodle was basically one shot to Iana, because that gun does do a lot of damage. So he was one or two shot, and he wasn't able to win that last round. I think mostly because of his low HP. We saw he placed two of his Thunderbirds on the bomb site, and he's got one in his pocket. So if he wants to roam out here, he's going to be able to do so. Now, both of these Copper players have spawned Junkyard again, and... Noodle is just sitting here waiting. If he held it for another second, he would have had a free kill onto Fool and possibly Genna. He's going to rotate off of that. Not wanting to take too many risks. Both players now are up to that big window. D4 going out from Noodle. Not going to get anything as the player who opened it up was all the way on top of the roof here. Now, I have to say, uh, this gun is very difficult to control by Genna. This gun is, is very hard for even good players to control, so I'm a little bit worried about him controlling that gun now with that being said ying's going out cool gonna hop in easy kill for noodle their strat wasn't that bad they were trying to block off any sort of line of sights with the sense gadget and then ying rush in honestly not that bad of a setup considering these are cop players here but not quite gonna work for cool all this like all this uh like smoke is doing or whatever you want to call it the sense gadget all it's really doing right now is blocking line of sight for both players it's not really helping or benefiting or uh hurting either player noodle gonna wide swing here doing a little bit of damage onto genna he does now have the hp advantage and he also has these thunderbirds so he can afford to take a shot or two so long as it's not into the head noodle's gonna swing easy kill for him that's gonna be the second round going to noodle With noodle winning up on the top floor bomb site he's gonna head downstairs now and looks like we actually have a switch up of the lineup for the copper players here Fool getting his drone shot out, so that's one less drone for the attack. And they're going to be running the Finca on Fool and Sledge on Genna, who's actually going to switch onto the Thatcher. I would have stuck the Sledge, personally, but that's just me. Alibi coming out from Noodle, and we'll see how this third round goes. Refire coming out from Noodle, narrowly missing Fool's head right now. He is swinging into a Finca LMG. That is a uh, fierce opponent, to say the least. A lot of damage being onto Noodle. He is exactly like 1 HP right now. Not a good position for Noodle at all, and that Finca LMG is just too powerful. Fool's going to win out this round for the Copper players, who are actually leading the match 2-1 right now. All right, Noodle droning out Fool right now, and it looks like he actually might try to nade underneath. Now, unfortunately for Noodle, Fool has actually moved, so that nade's not going to do anything just yet. Two minutes left on the clock right now. 
Looks like Noodle might be trying to push over by White Stairs right now. Not a bad idea, considering both players here are inside a trophy. And Noodle saw that on the cam. Two minutes left. Plenty of time for Noodle to work any sort of attack that he wants to work here. Gotta watch out for those Legion Mines. Wow, gonna actually gonna kill out Noodle there on our fourth round. It is now three to one. The Copper player is leading. This is not looking good, guys. We could have like a 10 minute video on our hands here. All right, so we've got the two copper players headed downstairs now as they just won the top floor bomb site. And honestly, I'm a little bit worried for Noodle here. The reason being is that it's currently match point for the copper players. So that means if Noodle makes one mistake here, whiffs one shot, either of these two copper players get a lucky kill onto him, whatever it may be, um, one minor mistake from Noodle and this whole video is done and he loses to two copper players. One of them being Fool, who literally just got this game, has not never played it before, um, besides a few ranked games to get placed copper. So not, not what we want to see happen at all. I know Noodle is better than this. I'm sure he's gonna come back from this, like he said in chat, just making for more content. If Noodle just sits here and waits, he actually might be able to get a kill. He hears Fool right now running through the rotate. All he's got to do is sit here and wait. Anna is way off site right now, completely lost. Not sure what he's doing right now. Noodle is just waiting for this guy to slip up. Shots going out. A little bit of damage going on to Fool right now. Gena is... I thought he was on the flank, but he's walking away from the flank right now. So I'm not sure what's going on right there. Noodle staying vigilant for it either way. Two smoke grenades wasted so far. Minute 40 into the round. Grenade going to go out. A lot of damage being put on the Fool. If uh, Noodle had just cooked that grenade, he actually would have killed him. That's the last smoke grenade going out at a minute 30. Plenty of time for Noodle to do whatever he needs to do. Looks like Gena cannot figure out how to flank Noodle. He's doing it now. Full sprinting downstairs. Wow. Almost whiffing that, but that puts Noodle on 1 HP. Fool is also 1 HP as well. One shot from either of these players could take them out. Fool is trying to swing up. I don't know if Noodle knows it. Gonna swing out and Noodle wins it. That is the fifth round going to Noodle. Very scary there with that whiff onto Gena, who was trying to flank the freezer stairs. That could have been the end of the video right there. All right, so I'm a little bit worried for Noodle still as uh, last round was fairly easy for him yeah. considering the fact that Gena was all the way off site, kind of in his own world. Didn't really have any sort of utility on site. Now this round though, he's actually on a Rooney. Now regardless if he's on site or not, he was actually placing utility. So that's gonna be more difficult for Noodle to clear who has two, two grenades and a gone six, um, as well as a, a two drones if he wants to waste on these Aruni gates, but he doesn't have much utility to be utility clearing. Now I am actually surprised at the copper players. They actually know like default setups. It's, it's actually kind of, it's, it's kind of strange. Like we see them reinforcing a lot of the proper walls, making head holes in the proper walls, rotates where they should be. Um, to me, like a lot of people might say like, oh, these, no way these guys are copper because they're making actual like site setups. I don't think they actually are. I think they're just trying to like mimic what they see in pro league because this shield is not something you would want to play in a 1v2 for that exact reason. Grenade going out, doing almost 50 damage to fool. There goes the shield. That's a free 50 damage for Noodle who really didn't have to do anything at all. He needs to nade this again, honestly. Okay, he saw, he saw fool. That is good. No nades left. So he's not gonna be able to nade him. Minute 20 left, so the time is ticking down right now. Fool actually swinging the head holes right now. That was a little bit scary for Noodle. Who had his back turned to that. We see Gena all the way off site right now. Fool gonna get swung by Noodle. Easy kill for him. Gena, who is running down the back stairs. Noodle hears this. All he has to do is wait. And that's gonna be an easy kill for Noodle, who's gonna bring us to 3 3 over time. Thank the Lord. Like Noodle said, just make it for better content. He's doing all this on purpose, guys. Noodle's gonna see this on the cam. Gonna gone six, open up the window, rush straight in. Gonna try to take any gunfights that he can. Fool's gonna run straight into the door. Gonna be taking a lot of damage. He's one HP now. Gonna actually trying to rotate in through here. Gonna turn away at the wrong time. Could have been bad for Noodle, honestly. Fool is now crouched be or prone behind a, 
a chair on one HP. This shotgun actually could be a problem. If uh, he starts opening this wall, it's a lot of angles for Noodle to be watching. Not going to matter, though. That's going to be two quick kills for Noodle. Nice shots by him. That's the Noodle we know. All right, so it is currently match point for Noodle. This is a barn burner, and it's only the first game. Too easy for Noodle. Gonna gonna be going down. It's all up to Fool now who's gonna try to swing this and gonna get taken out immediately by Noodle. That is the Noodle we know, ladies and gentlemen. That's gonna be a 5-3 victory for Noodle. GG's to the two copper players. And we are gonna move on to the bronze game. Game number two against our two bronze players here. We've got Rebellious and Flummo for our two bronzes. And Noodle, of course, still for our champ player. Uh, Noodle had even just mentioned uh, he's happy that we're playing Villa because it's crouch walking heaven. So could be could have been really useful for the bronze players to play that captain and maybe kill Noodle when he's crouch walking around the map. But we shall see how that goes. Yo, this is a crazy Malusi spot by Noodle. I've actually never seen that before. He isn't able to do it. I guess he doesn't want to spend the extra time doing it. But what he just did, if you didn't catch it, he lined up the vaults from up top where he landed on the railing, the stair railing. And then he's going to place the Malusi on like the top of the staircase there. That was actually crazy. Uh, may maybe I'm out of the loop and you guys have seen that before, but I've never seen that. That was really cool. Uh, looks like... Might be an easy kill for Noodle. Yeah, Flemo just trying to push in through that window there. Not going to happen for him. That's also the bomb down, and that's Finca gone. So it's a lot of utility gone for the bronze players. Impact's going out. Window's going to be prepped open. I think Noodle knows this is the bomb. He's going to be waiting for Rebellious to maybe push into that window. Noodle's going to hop out. It's all up to the 1v1 here. Oh my god. Noodle almost whiffing that kill. Heard that uh, Rebellious was outside the window. Almost whiffed, but he was able to get the round. That's going to be the first round going to Noodle. All right, so this round, we're going to see Noodle going into the trophy uh, statue uh, or statue deer, whatever you want to call it. I have no idea what it's called, to be honest, but who looks like might be trying to go for a spawn peek, and he could actually possibly get one as both players are over here on this side of the map. Not going to happen. Noodle actually trying to set up some defenses over here in AV. Interesting setup by him. Good work, though, as both the players are pushing in through the study balk right now. Now, he does have to be careful as Rebellious does have two grenades here. So if Rebellious runs this out and sees that Noodle's here, he could get naded. That's going to happen right now. So Rebellious is going to drone it. Instantly goes for the nade, as I said. Nade goes out. Actually almost kills himself and his teammate there. A little bit of damage onto Noodle, but a lot of damage onto himself and Flemo. Ying Candela is going out right now. Very interesting. Going to blind Noodle a little bit, but not that big of a deal. And look how Noodle plays these zombies. Perfect positioning for these zombie traps. Noodle just holding the angle here. Candela is going out once again. Going to swing. Noodle can't quite hit the shots there. Going to be full blind. Both these attackers pushing in. Trying to shoot him through the wall, but there's that Azami being so useful. Both players here. Noodle's in quite a bit of a pickle. Going to fall back now. All the way back down to sight. Well played by Noodle. Wasting a lot of time and utility. That's going to be both nades from Rebellious gone, as well as a lot of Candela's. Three to be exact from Flemo. So good amount of utility wasted by Noodle. And he didn't have to waste too much of his HP in the process. Both teams being on pretty much equal grounds for the HP. Alright, so that's the last Candela out by Flemo, who is still trying to clear Aviator. He thinks that Noodle is still here, but he is not. He's actually by this 90 hallway. Going to be an easy kill for Noodle, who's going to pre-fire the last player who is rebellious on those red stairs. Both have pretty much the exact same HP. I think uh, Rebellious has maybe like two or three more HP. But not going to matter too much here. 20 seconds left. Rebellious has got to make a push here. He's coming down to the wire. Rebellious does have the bomb, but he doesn't have much time to plant anymore. Seven second plant timer. 15 seconds left on the clock. All Noodle has to do here is wait. Rebellious going to push in. Going to try to plant on the statue door here, but that's not going to work. Noodle sees him. Easy one tap for him. And that is round two. Going to Noodle. This is more so how I expected the games to go uh, rather than what we saw last round or last game.
So Flomo is still on drone. He's been on drone for almost 15 seconds after the drone phase. Not sure what he was doing there. Finally got off now. He has LED5 black guys. I'm actually so jealous. What level is Flomo? Flomo is um where's level? Level 140. Guys, I'm level 400 on this count alone. I'm like level almost 700 across all my counts and I don't have LED5 black guys. Do you guys have LED5 black guys? Let me know down in the comments because that is the one black guys in the entire game that I want. I'm almost level 700 across all my accounts and I don't have that black guys. It's actually criminal, bro. All right, so cluster charges going out from Rebellious down into Art. Not quite sure what he's going to get with that cluster charge. Definitely tell we're in bronze um, as it doesn't seem there's much thought going out behind there. Um, Utility placements, lots of angle holding. Not much is really happening. Both of them seem to be waiting for the other person to do something. And that's not going to happen. Noodle's definitely not going to make a mistake like that as he is on defense. All he has to do is sit and wait. Rebellion's going to be running in towards living. Noodle is already here. Predicted the push from him. Just sitting here waiting. Both players now by the library. Rebellion is going to say, nope. You know what? Let's get out of here. Don't want to push that. Going to rotate upstairs again. Not much is getting done by these two attackers. They really need to speed up their push. If he wants to play Fuse above, he needs to go into Master and try to cluster charge into A, which is what he could do right here. Noodle is probably going to hear that and back away from it, though. But if he drops a cluster charge right here, that is right on top of Noodle's head. He's actually going to push towards the red stairs now. Lemo going to drone that out. Going to see that Noodle is there. I believe that's both the drones gone for both operators now. So they have no drones left. Noodle with a nice kill onto Flemo. It is now a 1v1. Flemo, or Rebellious actually taking sight right now all the way in by the laundry door. Good plant spot as well. Noodle now in a retake scenario having to take back his own bomb site. 20 seconds left. Bomb is going to be planted. Rebellious going to go all the way outside of the laundry door. Good positioning by Rebellious here. Noodle going to say, you know what? I'm just going to defuse. He actually might just stick this. Coming down to the wire here, and he's going to be able to do it just in the nick of time. If uh, Rebellious had pushed any more aggressively, he would have actually gotten Noodle there. But that is going to be the match point round for Noodle. So this could be the last round here. All right, so we have our two bronze players on their first and potentially last defense round of this Villa game as Noodle is on match point. As I said before, Noodle also flex Omni with the LED5 black guy. So I guess just everybody has it, right? What level is Noodle? Noodle is level 300. Okay, I guess it's fair. I'm still a little bit upset that uh, Rebellious or Flamo had it. I forget who it was. Wow, so Noodle just droned him out right there. This could be an easy kill for Noodle. Just going to be a grenade kill most likely. Grenade going out. Gonna miss. Not really gonna be able to get anything with that. Gonna try to bounce it off the wall again. Not even doing one damage to Rebellious. Now, that's not gonna be something Noodle wants to hop in. As it's gonna be an easy kill for Rebellious. So he's gonna go wall bang him. And that's Noodle getting the kill onto Rebellious, who is in a questionable spot. Flemo still reinforcing a solid minute into the round. Not sure what he is doing. All right, Noodle trying to turn out the last uh, attacker or the defender. He's going to see that he is in the bar. Noodle trying to shoot that Valcam through the floor. He's going to be able to do that. Doesn't have to worry about that for later now. All right, Noodle actually going to take the site and actually die instantly by Flemo, who's going to wallbang him. Wow. Let's watch this back. What happened here? All right. So a little bit of a lucky kill coming out from Rebellious there. Talk about luck or from Flemo. Yeah, talk about luck from that first round. That was definitely a lucky kill. Bomb located by right, Noodle has actually just walked straight into the bomb site now. I don't think that Flemma knows this yet either. He is trying to get an angle on the Noodle, but not quite going to happen. Noodle narrowly killing him right there. Wallbane's going out. Not much going to happen right now. Flemma does have a C4, so he, realistically he could just C4 this. Not going to happen though. He tries to push up for some reason. Noodle's going to get that kill. Too easy for him. All up to Rebellious now. Who currently has zero kills. This could be his big moment. I try to push up. Noodle is planning, so it could be a good time to do so. Noodle's going to swing, and that's Rebellious going down. GG, well played in the chat. Noodle going to take the bronzes four to one. Uh, also, again, just to show that both the players here are silver. Dingo is silver, and Grug isn't ranked yet, but he is also silver for his past seasons. So, 
That being said, little spawn peak coming out here from Noodle. Trying to go for that C4 spawn peak. Not going to work for him, though, as both players did spawn over by the main entrance. Hopefully, Noodle hears that. Doesn't waste that C4. Trying to check the cams, figure out where they spawned. Should see that the only cam shot is the front one. Wow. Actually does a good amount of damage onto Dingo, who's almost 50 HP now. And Noodle only taking like five. Going to get healed right back up anyway, so it does not matter. With that being said, we've got Grug trying to push in through VIP right now. Noodle knows this. Trying to pop off some shots to the wall here. Nothing's going to hit from either side. Dingo's going to rotate up through white stairs. Probably going to try to push in through luggage. Honestly, a, that's a pretty good idea. Um, considering that, uh, well, he just won the round. <laughs> easy, uh, easy kill for Dingo. Dapper, just wanted to remind you, you look like a Moya statue. Hope you enjoy that comment while you're editing this video. All right, same operators being brought out from these two silver players. And Noodle is actually going to pick up the Oryx instead of the Thunderbird, who he also has Black Ice for. Bro, Noodle's account, it must be stacked. This is actually crazy. Blue Nebula on the, the pistol as well. I have that one at least. I can say that. <laughs> all right, so they're trying to drone in through downstairs right now. I'm wondering if they're going to try to nade below it all. I'm not I'm not really sure what the, the plan is just yet. But I think Noodle is catching on to it, seeing as he's trying to hold an angle on the cool vibe stairs right now. Nades are going to come in from below from Grug, so that is what I expected them to do. Not really sure why he needed that, considering he's having Dingo drone for him. And I'm sure Dingo didn't call out that Noodle was there, because Noodle is not there. Twitch drone being shot out now. That is going to be a Twitch drone gone, as well as a nade gone. And no impact onto Noodle. Minute 20 seconds left on the round. Nothing has really happened for these two silver players. Noodle just going to keep doing what he's doing. Holding an angle. Waiting for something to happen. Actually going to swing down. He heard the nade get pulled out by Grug. Easy kill for him. Dingo seems very unsure of what he wants to do here. He's trying to like drone repeatedly. And he doesn't really seem to know where he wants to push yet. And he doesn't have the time to waste. As there's only 30 seconds left on the rounds. Noodle. Loving that Dingo is confused on what he wants to do right now because all he has to do is sit and wait to win the rounds. Dingo is racing against the clock right now. 20 seconds left. Gonna have to push in. Remember, seven second plant time. So he really does not have that much time to get the bomb down here. 15 seconds left. Shots going out. Not gonna hit for Dingo, but Noodle is gonna hit all of his. Easy round for Noodle. And it is one to one. Looks like both the attackers are actually going to try to push in through office here, which is exactly where Noodle is at. Drone's going to come out from Grug. Looks like they actually might have missed Noodle. I think the drone missed Noodle. That's going to turn around. Going to see him now. Noodle's going to shoot that. One less drone for the attackers now, who are only down to one left. Osta Shield coming out. Honestly, wouldn't it be a bad idea if they just had Dingo walk at Noodle with the Osta Shield out and Grug try to refrag behind? But we'll see what they choose to do here. Legion Mine's going out. Going to be a little bit of a problem for them. Although, it, they're pretty visible right now. Grog just has to shoot them, really. Nade coming out. Going to do a little bit of damage onto Noodle, but not anything significant. Cracker Nade's going out. Another Nade being cooked out. That's going to be Grog getting downed. One left for Noodle. Easy kill for him. That is round three going to Noodle. Now, it looks like the first person that Noodle might engage with is going to be Dingo, who's on Jaeger. He's currently on the kitchen door right now. And then Grug is off in his own world on CV right now. Not really doing much. Noodle going to try to walk in, taking a fair amount of damage from Dingo. He's also got to watch out for these Capcan traps as well now. Grug going to finally push down back towards kitchen door, watching the hallway for Dingo. Noodle not quite sure what he wants to do here. I don't blame him. A lot of ways he can get flanked right now. A lot of angles he has to look at. If he pushes courtyard, there's like a million different angles he can realistically be seen from. And he could get flanked by a lot of different places as well. So kind of a stressful position for Noodle. So he's going to leave that. All right, so Noodle actually just droned Dingo, and because of that, he's going to get an easy kill onto him. So now it is a 1v1. I believe he just saw that Capcom Trap, so that is good. Noodle could still lose this round to a Capcom Trap, so he's got to stay vigilant for that. BP on the wall, so Dingo's going to be giving out calls for Grug. So really, he doesn't have to do much but sit here and wait.
Doodle deciding that he does not want to push in through service. Going to try to take maybe a direct gunfight here onto Grug, who is on the kitchen door currently. Hyper Crab's being shot out. 35 seconds left. Noodle does have to try to make a plant here as quickly as possible. C4 still left on Grug, so he's got to be careful about that. Plant going down now. Noodle is going to get that plant down. Grug not even really reacting to that. Now, Grug could C4 this wall here, and it's round over for Noodle. She could try to do. Shots going out. Can't tell if he hit Noodle or not, but Noodle is fairly low HP where Grug is still full HP. So... Noodle's got to be a little bit careful here. Two flashbangs left, so he could try to use those flashbangs to his advantage. C4 going out. Not going to get anything for Grug. Looks like Grug actually thinks that he's outside service, when in reality, Noodle is inside the kitchen. So, looks like Grug doesn't actually know where Noodle is at. Trying to stick the diffuser, but it's not going to work. Noodle going to turn the corner. Easy pre fi for him. And that is the fourth round going to Noodle, who now has match point. All right, Noodle trying to push in through Hookah right now. It is match point. Looks like he might be trying to kill Grug through the floor right now, who he's going to be able to do that very easily. That's the drone work coming out from Noodle. Paying off very nicely for him. Now it is all up to Dingo, who also has the only kill of the match for the Silver players. So, see if he can pull out another one for his team. Doesn't seem very likely so far, though. Can't completely count Grug out just yet, though, as he does have those Capcan traps. So if Noodle does get caught off guard or is low HP, walks into a trap, that could be the end of the round for him. But we'll see if that comes into play a little bit later. Noodle going to be joining out the site. He's at Kitchen Window right now, so it looks like, if I had to guess, he's going to impact the window open and jump straight in, which is exactly what he does. Shots going out. He does have that LMG, so he can shoot as much as he wants. Plant going down right now, and Dingo actually reacting to it. Trying to push in, but it's not going to happen. Noodle with a nice kill onto Dingo. That is the last round of the map going to Noodle in a 4-1 fashion. That is both the uh, bronze and silver game going 4-1 to Noodle. That is both drones already gone from the gold players. You can definitely tell when you're in lower elo because the like attackers always lose their drones almost instantly. They just drive their drones straight into sight, and they lose them. All right, so right now we have both of the attackers pushing in through upstairs, and that is going to be Donut already getting downed by Noodle. I don't know if Noodle knows he downed him, but that would be a free impact kill if he were to impact the floor. Ala is going to try to rotate over and try to help him out. Almost making the same mistake that Donut did by hopping in right in front of those holes. Air jab going out, but it's not going to matter as Noodle is going to be able to kill Donut while reviving. All right, so interesting strat from Noodle here. He's actually decided to go to the downstairs bomb site. Pretty common, but he's actually opened up a lot of the hatches into the bomb site, and he's opening a lot of holes upstairs. So honestly, I really like this strat. It it just gives him a lot more flexibility. He doesn't have to necessarily just bunker down in sight. Now he needs to pay attention a little bit here, though, as they are pushing in directly behind him. That's going to be Holly getting taken out in the first 25 seconds of the round. A little bit of damage onto Donut as well, but. Not without a little bit of damage onto Noodle himself. Two minutes, 20 seconds left. Already down a player for the gold players. Not a great start for them whatsoever. Noodle could honestly just fall back and play a lot safer now. But uh, I'm guessing he's going to try to take this gunfight here. Wow. Nice shot by Noodle. He's just going to swing that and instantly destroy Donut Slayer on the open area window nice shots by him interesting strap by noodle here he's actually prepped up in this window and he's prone underneath it so it looks like he might try to run out this window here in a second he's on camps just kind of waiting for the opportunity but not a bad idea by him especially if the attackers try to push through that window like they were before which we see donut doing right now noodle could at any second just hop out this window and get a free kill on the donut who looks like he might try to drone yep so that is Donut hopping on Drone right outside of the window that Noodle is on. If he hops out this window, it's an easy kill for him. I don't think he knows just yet, though. Paul is going out. That is very unfortunate for Noodle. Gonna open up the window. Wasn't quite able to see Donut, who was just to his left. That Dokubi was honestly really, really good by Donut. Was able to push Noodle out of his position. I think if that Dokubi call didn't go out, he might have been able to stay there and get an easy kill. 
Wow, that's actually going to be Hala taking out Noodle on our third round. So nice shots by him. All right, a little bit of a different shot for the two gold players who went downstairs. They're going to do something a little bit different than what Noodle did. They're going to reinforce the site or the hatches. Probably play a little bit more bunker on site, which makes sense. They have more utility to do so. And they have two players. So we'll see. It doesn't look like any of the defenders are holding garage just yet. They do have that Aruni gate on the garage door, but I don't know if he has one just to the left of that door. Um, if you're looking at it from garage. Ala actually going to be checking cams. He did check that garage cam, but Noodle is knock. Not to mention he's already pretty deep in the garage, so that cam would not see him. Looks like both of the defenders are in Red Hall right now, not looking at garage. So this could be devastating for the gold players. A rotate being made out by Haruni. He's going to get taken out immediately. That is Donut Slayer going down. Noodle going to tank that damage from the Haruni gate. Honestly, not that bad. He still has most of his HP. Is now down to Hala, the Goyo player. Noodle is already deep in the site, though. Going to take out the default cam and going to try to plant the bomb. Probably going to get it down as well. The bomb definitely going to get down now. Now, Noodle do or, uh, Hala does have that C4, so Noodle's going to have to watch out for that. He could try to C4 this wall open, which is exactly what he's going to do. That C4, if he'd blown it just a second sooner, actually would have killed Noodle there. Unfortunate timing by Hala. Going to jump the window. Easy kill for Noodle. Now, I'm going to be honest. Ala could have won that round. He had the C4 on the wall for like two seconds before he blew it. If he threw it on the wall and blew it up instantly, Noodle definitely would have died to that. So fortunate timing for Noodle and unfortunate timing for Hala. But either way, it's going to be match point for Noodle now. Could see another 4-1 victory here. That would make it three in a row. All right, so we see another Capkin being brought out here by Donut. So Noodle's going to have to watch for that. Should have mattered though, as he's going to Amara run through the third floor window. And I doubt there's any traps there. Now, I doubt that the defenders know that he actually just Amara'd in. Funny seeing Hala run this uh, Thunderbird shotgun and bearing nine shot as literally 30 minutes ago. I just posted a video on that exact setup. So that's pretty funny. Regardless though, Noodle is already pushed deep into open area. Double door right here. Hala going to check that cam. A little bit of shots popping off, but nobody's going to hit their shots. That being said, he's going to try to push in through the kitchen door here. Got to be careful of those Capcom traps. A lot of shots being sent out by both teams here, but really no one's hitting any of them. Noodle does have flashbangs here, so he could try to use that to his advantage. A little bit of damage being put onto Hala, who's going to go down. C4 out, but not going to hit. Capcom trying to hit his shots here. Not quite working out for him, whiffing a whole mag onto Noodle. Minute 14. Noodle does have bomb. He also has his flashbangs. He's going to try to throw some out right now. Good try to plant right here. You got to be careful of that hole in the wall, though. Oh, he actually hit. Oh, he actually didn't hit him. Now he did. I thought he. I honestly thought he hit him the first time through that hole. A lot of damage being put onto Donut. Noodle is still full HP as well. Got to watch his left, though. Run out of ammo. Could be bad for Noodle here. Not going to matter. 4 1 victory for Noodle. A little bit scary there at the end as uh, he ran out of ammo right there with the G8. But luckily, Amara's kit is just too OP at the SMG to back him up. Ten seconds remaining. So the plot players are still wasting their drones. Rebel throwing his drone straight into the bomb site, getting taken out. GBC actually saving his drone, though, so that's good to see. We're, we're starting to see the like skill level increase uh slowly but surely as we go up people are starting to save their drones a little bit more taking a little bit slower out of spawn so that is good to see now that is it's good to see for the plats but it's also bad for noodle as it's going to mean it's going to be a lot more difficult for him to win any of these rounds noodle actually prepping this window right now both both players are on repel so he actually could jump out here Gonna be a little bit difficult though as Ayana is upside down repel. He's gonna have to take that guy out first. He's gonna do that. Gonna flick over but couldn't quite kill GBC. I think the fact that the Ayana was upside down repel above him made it very difficult for him to actually uh, kill both players as he had to jump out, look right and up and then right again to kill GBC. So nice attempt by Noodle there. Almost had the rounds but uh, not quite. All right, so it looks like these attackers are wanting to push in through downstairs. They are kind of pushing through bottom red here. Actually going to rotate over to brown stairs now. And it looks like Rebel might try to push white stairs. I'm not sure. He's all the way down in bakery. A bomb has been located. It's going out from GBC. Not going to get anything, though. Rebel going to rotate over to brown stairs. 
along with GBC. And Noodle seems to be prepared for this. Maybe, maybe not. A little bit scary. Rebel definitely is prepared for this. He's preeming that balcony. Noodle, I don't think, knows how close he was to dying right there. If Rebel had just wide swung a little bit more, he might have been able to kill Noodle there. Wow, GBC with actually a nice shot onto Noodle through the railing on the red stairs. Good shot by him. All right, Nate's coming out from Rebel here. Gonna miss his shots. Noodle gonna get a nice kill onto Rebel. That's his second of the game now. Up the GBC to win this out. Now, GBC does have the other two kills of this game. Noodle somehow missing that Nate. I don't know how he didn't die to that, in all honesty. Gonna get a nice flick onto GBC, though. I thought for sure that Nade was gonna kill him. It even destroyed the uh, Alibi clone in front of him, but didn't do any damage to him. That was interesting. Yeah, even GBC mentioned that in chat. That potentially should have been a round for GBC. All right, so with uh, Noodle winning the last round, that is gonna be his last round on defense. So he's gonna move on to attack while GBC and Rebel, the two plot players, move on to defense. Now, GBC and Rebel have both uh, Malusi and Thunderbird, respectively, and Noodle is bringing out that sludge. So we'll see what Noodle can get done. He's currently down a round, but uh, this round's really important because this round and the next round are really important. Whoever gets match point, that's going to matter a lot. So if Noodle loses this round, uh, that gives the plat players match point. And if he wins this round but loses the next round, they still have match point. So these next two rounds are going to be really, really important. With that being said, shots going out from Noodle. Going to do a little bit of damage on the GBC. He's going to try to swing that. Uh, cigar Lounge. Rotate out now. Nice shot by Noodle on the GBC. A little quick peek. Going to get him out of the game really quickly. It's all up to Rumble now. Shots going out. I think Noodle might know where he is now because of those shots. Going to throw out a grenade now. This could potentially be the end of Rebel, who's going to have to leave that position because of that grenade. Shots going out, and Noodle got stuck inside of that Malusi unfortunate for noodle i think he would have been able to get away if it wasn't for that malusi he got slowed down so much by it so that is match point for the plat players now noodle has been here before if you remember all the way back to the copper game noodle was down three to one and he still pulled it back with a five three victory so it could be the same here noodle could turn back up and win in a five three fashion or however he ends up winning um but he has tall task ahead of him for sure Interesting setup by the plat players. They've actually chose to leave this wall soft. Honestly, not that bad of an idea. Oh, they're actually going to start reinforcing it now. Noodle not going to be able to stop him, so that wall is going to get reinforced. Pretty brave reinforcement by Rebel, not going to lie. That is going to make it slightly easier for Noodle to push back in, though. Uh, as I was in the process of saying before, for Noodle to push in to uh, bake like he just did, he'd have to watch the prep holes and the sight hole there, but now he only has to watch the prep holes. So he's able to take that pretty easily. Stun's going out. That's going to be GBC stunned pretty well. This is really hard for Noodle to win. I'm not going to lie to you. Easy shot for him, though, on a GBC, making it just a little bit easier for him now. 1v1 onto Rebel. Still has to worry about those Capcan traps and those Legion mines. I see two mines inside of... Oh, he knows exactly where Legion is at. It's just going to be up to if he can win this gunfight. Prefire is going out. He has plenty of bullets. Definitely outmatches Legion's gun here but it doesn't matter it's all up to who can hit their shots here Legion mine inside of Noodle's foot but it doesn't matter nice shot by Noodle taking us to another round well played by him actually very cool a zombie shot coming out from GBC I really like that a zombie placement so he's placed down here gonna make it a little bit more difficult for Noodle to push in now the unfortunate thing for GBC is that Noodle is playing Zofia and he's gonna be able to actually impact those zombies off Pretty much instantly as rebels playing malusi they have no wamai or jaeger to stop those now the thing with that is he's not going to be able to get any of the malusis if he does waste those uh impacts on that but he's going to waste one on the door looks like one on the wall as well I'm gonna try to rush in this could be the end of the game right here as rebel is just sitting here waiting gbc gonna swing a lot of damage being done to both players here gbc on like one or actually almost full hp i thought he was like on one hp that's gonna be ggs rebel gonna swing that is going to be Noodle finally being taken out by two plot players. Well played to Rebel and GBC being the only two players so far to be able to take out Noodle. Well played by them. Well played by Noodle. Make sure you guys follow Noodle's uh, socials. The links will be down in the description. Uh, like I mentioned before, if you guys have not subscribed already, make sure to subscribe. I post daily on the channel, so make sure you have notifications on so you don't miss another video. 
Like the video if you guys enjoyed, and thank you so much for watching.